you my huge Zara haul. I bought so much stuff from Zara and I can't wait to show you guys everything. Winter is on its way out and spring is almost here and I cannot be happier. So I feel like dressing for spring is so much more fun because instead of trying to bundle up and stay warm, um, you can start experimenting with different colors and prints. You can wear skirts, you can wear dresses. I have different colored denim. This is gonna be a really fun haul. So keep watching this video because there are so many cute outfits that you just have to get for spring. It's a must have, Ugh, I'm so excited. Before we continue, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I make videos on a weekly basis and you really don't wanna miss out on future videos. I'll also link my Instagram down below. Make sure you're following me there as well. Um, I post a lot of outfit of the day type of pictures, um, a lot of beauty tips. So make sure you're following me on Instagram because you really don't want to miss out on all that good stuff. This next top I really love. I really think it's so cute. It's just darling. It's so pretty. Especially for the summer, I think this is such a cute shirt. And the knitted material is actually a really good quality. Let me show you guys up close the quality of the knit. It's really cute, it's very chunky, and I really appreciate the detail in the knitting. If you guys can see, the detail in this knitting is actually really good. The knitting is in going in different directions. There's like a wavy knit pattern down here. So the detail in the knitting is really nice and I feel like it just looks really expensive. It looks like you got this at an expensive boutique. I'm really glad I got this shirt. This isn't typically something that I would buy, but once I put this on, I was like, oh, wow. It's, it's a really cute shirt and I wouldn't think it was cute. I don't know, just because I typically don't usually wear girly items like this, but I love it. Like I said, it just looks like designer. It looks like you got it at an expensive boutique. This dress, you guys, I am so conflicted with this dress. And I even created like a poll on my Instagram and asked everyone, do you like this dress or does it look like a tablecloth? Be honest. And the results I got was 50-50. That poll was not helpful at all. So tell me here, tell me now on YouTube in the comments below if you like this dress or not, or if I look like a tablecloth. Anyways, I really like this dress, but I also think I kind of look like a tablecloth. Let me tell you why. The back of this dress has like an elastic here, so it fits really nicely around your bustier area. Um, it hugs me very nicely, and then I love the thickness of the straps. I also really love the pockets. There's these two really big pockets in the front, which makes the dress really chic. I love the way the dress moves and having my hands in my pockets. I think that's a really cute look. But because it's so big and it's so flowy, it's also this white material. The material is almost like a canvas material and it has like this kind of crunchy feel, which makes me look like a tablecloth, to be honest with you. It's a little tablecloth-y of the fabric. It's so flowy. The flowiness makes me look like a Parisian princess, but it also makes me look like a tablecloth. So I don't really know about this dress. I'm so torn whether or not I should keep it. Let me know below if you think this is a dress that's worth keeping or if I look like a tablecloth. Let me know below. <laughs> item we have this pink set here I really love this set I think it's really pretty the only thing that I don't like about it is I don't know how often I'm gonna wear this to be honest with you the shorts are really small um, they're a little too short I think for my liking I see myself maybe wearing it if I'm on vacation or something like if I was like going to Palm Springs and it was hot and I wanted like a cute outfit that would look good in pictures 
definitely this is the outfit to wear. I just don't really see myself wearing this, you know, in my everyday life. For that reason, I don't know if I want to keep it. I typically don't like to buy items for occasions. Like I like to buy items that I can wear multiple times for different occasions. Um, and with this, I just don't see myself wearing it all that much. I think this is really pretty. I think it's a really pretty color. Um, it's really cute. If you are going on vacation and you want like a picture worthy outfit, this is totally that outfit for you. Um, but I don't think it's like an everyday outfit. I don't think it's a practical outfit. So for that reason, I might be returning it, but we'll see. I think I have to think about it a little bit more. I do really love it. I think it's really, really cute. I just don't know how practical it's gonna be. These yellow pants are super, super cute. They come in a few different colors. They also come in a green color, a pink color, and I believe it also comes in blue. Obviously the blue is boring. It's spring. I wanted to incorporate more color into my wardrobe. So I got the yellow and the green. I'm not really a pink person, um, but if you do like pink, the pink is really cute. It's like a bright fuchsia pink. I really love the fit of these pants. It's straight legged and it's wide, which is really nice. I got a size two, which is really nice. It fits me a little bit more baggy, which is good because since it is a wide leg fit, I wanted it to fit a little bit more baggy. The only issue that I have with these pants is it's really, really long. Side note, if you guys haven't seen my Zara denim video, I'll link it down below too. It's really helpful if you are in the market of looking for jeans. I pretty much try on every Zara denim style there is. So I'll link it down below, it's really helpful. So similar to the 90s denim, these are way too long. Luckily it's an open hem like this, so if it is too long, it's really easy just to take a pair of scissors and cut it. If you really love this green or yellow color, get the pants anyways and just cut them. I think for most people, these pants will be too long unless you are really tall. They're gonna be long, but don't worry because they are really easy to cut. Besides that, I really like the wide fit legs. Um, they might be a little wide. I think I would have preferred them if they were straight legged other than wide leg. I think the wide leg makes it really baggy, um, which is kind of cool, but also it's too long. So I, I just feel like they're, they just look kind of big. I love the color of these pants. I think it's such a fun and cute color to wear, especially for the spring or the summer. Surprisingly, I think the yellow is easy to match on top. You can wear a white top with this. You can wear a yellow top like I'm doing here and wear like an all yellow outfit. I think they're really cool. It's a really fun color and surprisingly, I think it's wearable. Like it's not too wild or too out there. And they're high-waisted, which is a huge plus for me. I don't wear jeans that are low-waisted or even mid-rise. I don't really like. These are pretty high-waisted, which is nice. These pants right here are so freaking cute, you guys. I am so obsessed with this print. I mean, look at this print. Look at that. It's so freaking cute. I am so obsessed with these pants. I think I posted a picture of myself wearing these pants on Instagram and I got so many comments from people asking me where I got them. And I was like, Zara. This is why I love doing these hauls is because I end up buying so many things and some of them I don't like and I return. But when I come across items like this, I'm so excited to share it with you guys because it's such a good find. These are the Marine straight leg pants. And if you guys haven't seen my Zara denim haul, um, I'll link it down below, but I love the fit of these Marine straight jeans. I think this fit is so cute. It's very flattering and it's also very comfortable to wear. Like there's a lot of stretch in this. These are super high-waisted, which is nice because I don't really wear low-waisted jeans or even mid-rise jeans. I feel like high-waisted jeans are the most flattering. So to me, these jeans are very flattering. It fits really nicely around my butt area. Um, I love that it's a wide leg fit. It has these nice big pockets on the back here. And I freaking love this pattern. I mean, I already said it before, but I love, love, love this pattern. It's so pretty. It's just such a cute pattern. There's just so many different ways to wear it. You can wear it with like a plain top. You can wear it with a colorful top. 
Um, yeah, I feel like it's a very wearable pattern. I just love it. Go get these pants, they're totally worth it. Very cute. with this dress I first off I freaking love the color I think the color is such a pretty bright creamsicle orange perfect for the spring it's perfect for the summer I love it it fits really good it's really really flattering um, the length of the dress is great too because it's not short and it's not too long I love that like mid-length type of dress I feel like this is such a wearable dress. I kind of love basic dresses like this because it's a good dress to wear even if you're like running errands or if you're running to the grocery store. Um, it's a really good kind of basic dress to have. I feel like everyone should have these items in their wardrobe where like if they don't have anything to wear, this is what you're going to wear. So I've owned dresses like this before where it's like a tank top material. Sometimes it tends to be a little bit too thin and I don't like when it's too thin because then you can see like every, you can see like your bra mark, you can see like your underwear mark, but I feel like this one is thick enough where it's not gonna show as much. Honestly, I think it showed it a little bit, but it doesn't bother me. Like it's not something that I'm gonna have to feel insecure about. Um, it's a thick enough material where I don't think it's gonna show every little, you know, bump or whatever. It's, for the most part, I think it's gonna lay pretty smooth. A really great piece to have in your wardrobe just to kind of throw on for any occasion, anytime. So this is the outfit that I'm currently wearing as I'm sitting down talking to you guys. This is my favorite, favorite set from everything that I bought this haul. I always choose my favorite item from the haul and I'll wear it during my talking portion. Um, I love this set so much. I love it for a lot of different reasons. So first off, I really love the color. It's like this really pretty baby blue color. I think it's such a great color for spring and for summer. I also think it's so comfortable. So this is a very, very comfortable soft cotton, which I like. It's also ribbed, um, which I think makes it really flattering because it hugs my body really nicely. The skirt is a midi length and it's high waisted and the sweater is perfectly cropped. This is a yellow knitted cardigan. I really love this color and I love the cable knit. I think it's a really good quality sweater. I'll show you guys up close what this cable knit looks like. It's actually a really nice cable knit. It looks expensive. Love the collar. Oh my gosh. The collar of this sweater is so nice. I feel like it just makes the sweater. I really like the knit work on this sweater. How, you know, the collar has like a straight knit and this one has like more of a braided knit. It also has these really nice buttons that are super cute. I really love this. I think it's really nice. It could be worn open. It could be worn closed. The sleeves are a bit long, but I kind of like that about the sweater. I can totally see myself wearing this sweater with like just jeans or like a fun floral print on the bottom or something like that. I just feel like there's a lot of different ways you can style this sweater, which is really great. Something I think about all the time when I'm shopping is will I wear this? How many ways I can style this? And you know, if it's limiting, then I won't buy it. It's just not wearable. It's not practical. I don't want to buy something that's going to sit in my closet. Um, so I like to think of different ways that I can style it. And I think with this piece, it's fun. It's exciting because it's a really pretty yellow color but at the same time I feel like it's wearable. I think it's a good quality sweater and I'm really obsessed with this pale um, yellow color especially for the spring or the summer. Next we have this little black dress. I really like this dress and it comes in a few different colors, so I think for sure I saw it in like a white with a black trim. 
Um, but I think this dress is super cute. I love like the detail on the sleeves, the neck. I think that's so cute. And I really like the length of this dress. I feel like it's like a little bit of sexy, but also like very 90s cute. I really love this style. It's not too short. It's not too long. It's the perfect length. Um, the fabric is like a nice cotton material. The fabric is ribbed and I think it's really flattering to the body and it's probably flattering as well because it's this black color. I feel like black is always more flattering than other colors. I think it's a really cute dress. I would totally get it in different colors and yeah, I think it's a cute dress to have in your wardrobe. It's really easy to wear. You kind of just throw it on um, if you're running errands or whatever. It could be like your go-to dress. You know what I mean? Like it's a, it's a good dress to have. we have is this printed tank top here so this one is pretty cropped but I really like the pattern it has like flowers and cactuses on it it's knitted it's really cute it looks very 90s to me um, I think this is a great top to have for like spring or summer I like the material of this top it feels like expensive it doesn't feel cheapy um, it's nice and thick, so you're not going to get any of those creases with your bra or anything like that. Um, it's going to look very smooth because it is like a thicker knitted material. Um, I love this color. It's very 90s. It's, the print is adorable. Yeah, I really like this tank top a lot. next item is this red tank top here and it has these two buckles in the front um to be honest with you i don't really like this tank top that much i don't like the style of the neck i feel like it kind of pinches together at the neck a little bit too small here i don't mind like a racer back but i feel like this one is a little bit too tight around the neck yeah i feel like this style is a bit strange it kind of makes my shoulders look humongous and I don't like the cut of the shirt. I also don't like the buckles on the shirt. To me, the buckles looks like a little H and I don't like that. I don't like this shiny silver. Um, yeah, I'm just not a fan of this shirt. The back of the shirt is very similar. It's very tight around the neck um, and then the it kind of exposes your shoulder over here. I just don't like the cut and the style of this shirt. Next, we have this white ribbed sweater. This ribbed sweater is really good quality. I really like that it's nice and chunky. You guys can see the rib texture is actually really good. It's like a thick, rib texture it doesn't feel cheap at all it actually feels really cozy it's not itchy so as you can see the sleeves are hemmed up like this it's attached here so it's like permanently hemmed like that the only issue that i have with this sweater is i think it's a bit too cropped for me i feel like when i put my hands up it'll show like my under boob which is not really what i want for me it's not really a practical sweater because it's so cropped but if you don't mind it being so cropped or if you're shorter than me i am 5'5 so if you're shorter it won't look as cropped for you other than that, I think the quality is really nice. It's a nice chunky knit, which I love. I don't like knitted sweaters that are too thin or like flimsy. This one feels like it's good quality. It's really thick, it's chunky, it's not itchy. It's a really nice rib texture. So overall, I like it. The only thing I don't like about it is it's too cropped. itchy scratchy sweater <laughs> this fabric you guys is not good it's almost like it feels and it looks like 
a bath mat. <laughs> it's just like a little bit itchy. It's a little bit scratchy. Um, it's kind of a thick material, which is strange. It is thick. It's not like comfy. It's not cozy. It's a weird material. I don't like it. I also think it's a weird fit. So if you guys see the shape, I'm going to show you the shape. The shape of the sweater, it's like a curve right here, like at the waist. So it kind of like flares out a little bit, which is weird. It's not short, like it's not like a crop top, but then it's also not long. It's just a weird fit. And because it's a weird material, it's a little stiff. Also the buttons for this top, it doesn't really button all the way up. It only has like, it has these two buttons here, but these buttons aren't meant to close. It just, I don't know, to me, I just don't like the sweater. It also has like a weird armpit area. I think some shirts are just really unflattering where it has like almost a webby kind of effect here. I really hate that. And this shirt has that. Don't like it. Next, we have this really pretty orange top. I think this is a really cute top. I mean, it's really nice, it's basic. I'm pretty sure it comes in different colors. I just really like this bright orange color, especially for the spring and the summer, especially if you're trying to incorporate more color into your wardrobes. It's nice, it's comfy, it's a good rib material. Um, it's soft, it fits really well. I love the scoop neck. It's not too long and it's not too short either. I think this is a great top to have. These are the coolest green pants. I love this color. I'm really obsessed with it. I can't decide if I like the green more or if I like the yellow more. I like both of them, so I just might have to keep both of them. I like that these pants are like a wide leg fit and I love the, how the denim looks a little vintage. Um, it's not like a full green color. If you see, there's like a vintage tone to the pants, which is really nice. It has like a vintage color and also has like a vintage fit because it's not like super tight. It fits really loose. It kind of fits like an old pair of Levi's, which I really love. I got a size two and it's not super tight. Like I love that there's a little bit of room around the stomach and it fits kind of loose with this fit. It can't be like too, too tight. You know what I mean? It's high-waisted, which is good. Um, I don't really wear like mid-rise or low-rise pants. I love when pants are super high-waisted because it kind of just like, you know, accentuates your curves, makes you look a little bit smaller around your tummy, and then it just gives you like a nice hourglass look. It is too long, but um, it has like an open fringe, so I think it's really easy just to take a pair of scissors and cut it straight across. I'm 5'5". Five five. Um, I think for most people, they're gonna fit too long, unless you're really tall. But for most people, it's gonna fit long, um, but I like that it's really easy to hem yourself if you need to. The next item, we have this cardigan and we have like a shirt to wear underneath the cardigan. So both of these items are sold separately, but I really feel like you can't do one without the other. You kind of have to get them both and wear them at the same time because that's what makes this cardigan set so freaking cute. I love it. I think it's really cute. The flower print is adorable. I wasn't sure what it was at first. I kind of thought it was like cherries or something, but I actually really love this flower print even more um, than like a cherry print. This material is kind of like a nice soft, um, I wanna say like a towel material because it's, it is, it does kind of look like a towel material. Let me show you up close. It kind of has like a towel type of finish. It does, it's not like a smooth cotton finish, if you know what I mean. I think the fit of this set is really cute. It's like cropped, um, it fits perfectly. The only issue that I have with it is I don't know how often I would wear it, to be honest with you. Is this something that I would wear very often? 
Probably not. Next we have the sweater vest. I've been seeing sweater vest on everyone lately. Sweater vests have become such a huge trend this season. With trendy items, I don't always like to spend a lot of money on because I feel like as soon as a trend came, it's going to leave just as fast. So I don't want to invest a lot of money in trendy pieces. Um, so I think it's really cute if you've been wanting to try this vest trend to get one from Zara because the price is really affordable. This one's $39.90. But this one is actually a really good quality. It's a thick knit. Zara has been really surprising me with their knitted items lately. Um, the knit looks so expensive and it's such a good quality. I, I don't know if this is going to translate very well on the camera, but it's very thick. It's super chunky. And this knitted pattern is just really pretty. It doesn't look like it's $39.90. I also really love the buttons they use. So a lot of the time with you know, a, a brand like Zara, H&M, you kind of have to pay attention to the buttons because the buttons can come off cheap or it can look cheap. This one does not. This is like a really nice tortoiseshell button. I like that it's slightly cropped. It's not too cropped, but it's a really nice vest to wear over a t-shirt, over a long sleeve, over, or you can just wear it with like a little tank top underneath. I think it's a really, really nice wearable vest. Next we have this amazing blazer. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys this one because I love this blazer. I've been looking for an oversized blazer for a really long time and I think this color is really good because it's like casual and it feels light. It's a great blazer for spring, for summer. I've been searching and searching and searching for a nice oversized blazer and I think I have it. Like this one is really perfect. It's so, so nice. I love it. It's not too heavy. It feels light. Like you could wear it in the daytime on like a sunny day for brunch or something like that. Um, there's two pockets in the front, which is good because I feel like it's nice to have something to put your hands in. I feel like I'm so awkward that I need pockets to put my hands in or else I'm just like, I don't know. Like the buttons look expensive. Um, I mean, you would never guess this is Zara. This could be any designer. Like it just looks, it's a beautiful, beautiful blazer. This is definitely a must have in your wardrobe. It has like shoulder pads on the inside, which is nice because it keeps its shape. Um, I just love how light and casual it is. It's like a beautiful blazer to have. You definitely need to get this blazer. Next item, we have these really ill-fitting pants. <laughs> I mean, that's the only way I, have to, I can describe it because they're just not, they just don't fit good. They just don't fit good. I got a size extra small and I feel like they're too big. This is way too big to be an extra small. It doesn't fit me on my waist. It kind of hangs on my body. Um, it's a weird length. It's not short. It's not long. It's just like a weird length definitely not flattering on my butt. I think the only thing I like about it, I was really attracted to the print. I think this blue plaid color is really pretty, but the fit of these pants are just terrible. They're just, they're just not good. <sighs> they're ill fitting pants. They're not good. Anyone out there, if you guys have these pants and you think they fit bigger than normal, let me know because I think I got like a bad pant. I think this one must be defective because it's definitely not a size extra small. It fits more like a medium or like a large, which is very strange. Other than the pattern, I just don't like these pants at all. But yeah, the, the fabric is like a nice tweed fabric. It doesn't feel thick or like itchy at all. It's actually like a nice feeling fabric and the color is really nice. 
this next item is a really pretty pale yellow knitted vest. Knitted vest is something that I've been seeing a lot lately. Um, I like the trend, but I'm not sure how long it's going to be around for. Leave me a comment below and let me know if the vest trend is something that you like or something that you see yourself wearing. I don't know if I love it, to be honest. Um, I think it's a cute trend. I just don't see it lasting very long. But anyways, so first off, I really like the knit. I think it's really nice. It feels like it's quality. Um, it's like a nice braided knit. That's a cute little detail. The fit of this cardigan, I think, is a little bit strange. For me, it's too cropped. So I feel like with most cardigans, you know what? I styled this with like a shirt underneath, but I honestly think maybe it would look cute on its own. I think this is a type of card. This is not really a vest. You know what? I thought it was a vest, but I'm going to take that back. I don't think it's a vest. I think it's would be cute more so worn as a shirt. Maybe with just a shirt, nothing underneath, it would look a lot better. I really like the color. Um, I think the color is really pretty. I like the quality of the knit. It's very nice. I think this yellow color is really in right now. I saw a lot of yellow on Zara's website. Surprisingly, I think this color is easy to wear. So the next item we have here is like a pale yellow tank and I don't like this item that much and I'll tell you why. It's like a weird plasticky material. It's not like a soft cotton. I don't like this material. I feel like Zara uses it pretty often and it's really hard to tell on the website if this is that material. When I'm shopping on the website, I don't really read the um, materials, but I probably should do it more often because I feel like Zara uses this material a lot and I don't like it. It's kind of like a plasticky material and it feels very, not, I don't want to say itchy, but it's not soft on your skin. And I also don't think it's breathable. I like this pale yellow color. I, I don't know why I'm very obsessed with yellow and I feel like Zara has a lot of yellow things for the spring. So I like the yellow. I just don't like this fabric. Next we have this really pale yellow um, tank. I think this is really cute. I have a tank that is similar to this, but it's a Ritzia and I think it's a lot more expensive definitely a lot more expensive than this. This is only $5.90. I have a, like I said, I have a similar one from Aritzia. It's like 20 bucks and this one's $5. So it's a huge difference. Um, but the fit is very similar and I love this like pale yellow color. It's like a nice soft cotton material. The fabric isn't too thick. It's not too thin, which is perfect. Sometimes these tanks can be a little bit too thin and if they're too thin, you can see like your bra area or any kind of like marks around your, you know, where your bra kind of cuts into your skin. But this is a really good material. It doesn't seem like it's too thin. Um, and I love this color. I'm sure it comes in a lot of different colors, white, black. I mean, if you don't already have a top like this, I would say get one in every color. This is like a really good top to have in your wardrobe just to like wear under a cardigan or, um, you know, on like a nice summer day or something, you just throw this on with a pair of jeans and just run out the door. This is a really good tank top to have. This color is really cute. I love the yellow. Um, I saw a lot of yellow on Zara's website, so I think yellow is a trendy color right now. It, it's a really cute color. Um, I really love it. Next we have this dress. So I'm going to start off by telling you guys why I bought this dress. I really like the pattern of this dress. It The color is really pretty. The pattern is really pretty. So it's like a really nice knitted dress. I just think that the fit of this dress is so terrible and I wish they improved the fit because I love the simple style of it and I really like the colors. It's just the fit is so bad. I can't, I can't look past it. First off, I believe this is a smallest size. I think I got a size small, but look how wide 
it is. Like it literally is so wide and it like wraps around my body and it just, it does nothing for my body. It's not form fitting at all. There's so much room. I almost feel like I'm wearing a muumuu. -moo. Like it's just too big. We've reached the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I make videos on a weekly basis, so you really don't wanna miss out on future videos. And I'll link my Instagram down below. I post a lot of outfit of the day pictures and beauty posts, so you really don't wanna miss out on that either. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.